Yeah, so if you're if you're new to this country or if if this is your first year in Korea, mm. you might have um you might be experiencing a lot of these kind of um religious cult approaching you. So, as foreigners who have been living here for a very long time, if you have any tips or any kind of red flags that foreigners should be um looking for, mm-hmm. you know, if you have any tips, you can tell our audience. Red flags for me, mm-hmm. don't trust girls holding a tablet that mm. come next to you and oh. ask you to watch presentations. This is the modern approach they're, <laughs> they're doing. Or ajumas that come to you and compliment you a lot. Even you just say, Anyang say well, and you're like, oh, you're Korean. Oh my yeah, gosh. Complimenting. Oh. Complimenting is the biggest threat. And like, if they keep asking too much about you, I know like when you come, you want to make friends, you want yeah. to interact, but if they keep asking like, oh, where are you from? What are you doing yeah, here? Yeah, if that conversation lasts going? more than two minutes. It's it's a red flag. Yeah, yeah. it's not normal to have random conversations yeah. here. It's not normal. So, and what we have learned from her story, free food. Free food. <laughs> free food. <laughs> free food. Red flag. Do not yeah. accept free food. Like it's such a simple concept. Like it's There's nothing in this world for free. That's the thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's common sense. Like your parents teach you do not accept free food from strangers. But like it, it just happens. It happens. I mean. It just happens. If they ask you to do a traditional Korean experience, don't. Yeah, like, traditional Korean experience. Like if you want to do it, book it on like Airbnb or book it on, I don't know, some website that offers traditional experiences. But like don't go with random people yeah, don't. who say that, yeah, we'll provide you with an experience that you'll never experience anywhere else. Like it's a major red flag. Also, they they lure a lot of people by saying they have English, Korean, mm, like language yes. exchange yeah. meetings. They will come to you like, oh, we have a meeting. There's some Koreans trying to learn English, and there's like these foreigners. They're trying to practice Korean. If you want, you can join us. Kapjaki, like out of nowhere, they come and talk to you th- like this in the middle of the street. Yeah. No, uh, on the school also. No. Yeah. This kind of group, they do not recruit people like that they yeah. <laughs> post like a uh, some announcement and then you contact them they do not contact you yeah. <laughs> it's not like right. how it works 